A dream comes true for a Houston man dying of cancer. 32-year-old Daniel Fleetwood was told by doctors this summer he had just months to live. And the lifelong Star Wars fan feared he wouldn't be around to see the new movie, which releases December 18th. So his wife began an online campaign asking Disney Studios to let Daniel screen the film early. This week, the movie's director, J.J. Abrams, called Fleetwood, and the studio delivered an unedited version of the film to Fleetwood's home Thursday. Spectre has begun what will likely be world domination at the box office. The 24th James Bond movie opened to five and a quarter million dollars at preview screenings last night. That number outpaces Spectre's predecessor, Skyfall, by 14% over its Thursday night screenings in 2012. The new 007 adventure is expected to bring in $80 million during its opening weekend. Whether you're ready or not, holiday shopping season is upon us and Walmart is already offering specials. The company has started 10 online specials a day that will last for the rest of the holiday season. Sale items include video games, electronics, and toys. If you love chocolate but hate how it melts so quickly, problem solved. A famous Belgian chocolatier has created a chocolate with a higher melting temperature. The chocolate maker, Barry Calabo, says there is an increasing demand for chocolate products in warmer climates. The new recipes have a melting point that is about 4 degrees Celsius, higher than normal. You really can't beat Mother Nature, especially when it comes to creating spectacular visuals. This time-lapse video shows the enormous shelf cloud that rolled over Sydney, Australia Friday, making it look like the ocean waves extended into the sky. The cloud unleashed heavy rains across the area. There you go, five things to know before you go to bed.